Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome yourselves to episode number 10 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Um, yeah, we actually made it to double digits. No one believed that would ever happen, but we are here. We're working towards Winter Todd, hoping to get some magic logs for Desert Treasure, and then of course, the recipe for disaster. But first of all, doing some fletching, got a lot of fletching to do. So we get some better XP when we actually go to Winter Todd. We've done it. We have fletched all of the willow longbows. That is, of course, going to be for 55 making. It goes to 53 fletching. I'm going to do the rest of these, doing agility, of course. Still not sure what I'm doing with these. Probably steel plate bodies for cash, to be honest. I'm going to sell the willow longbows. I have no idea how much I'm going to get for them. Uh, how much did they go for after the... Oh, pfft. Damn, this is going to take a while. Because look, if I sell 50, they go down to 16 GP. What do I do, man? I can't sell them 10 at a time, can I? Yeah. Nah, that would take way too long. Managed to sell all the bows for 92k. I was not expecting that. Not gonna light off willow locks. I'm gonna start training some melee. I need to get myself 60 attack because I need the dragon scimitar to defeat the quest boss in the recipe for disaster. There is no way I am killing that thing with a rune scimitar, so it's going to have to be done. Just to ourselves 55 fletching so we can now make maple longbows. This is terribly slow. I just want marks of grace. I just want that graceful. This is going to take forever, but I think, I think I'm going to go for it. Not all at once. I'm going to keep chipping away at it. So it's not as painful. Oh, that's just beautiful on the floor right there. I need to get graceful. I just need graceful. And I'm probably just going to stay at the Canifis course until I get graceful because this is the best marks of grace per hour. Falador course is just a waste. There we have it. Level 50 agility and 38 marks of grace. I'm going to take a little break from agility and do something else. So I've decided what I want to do with these steel bars. The options were to make them into steel darts for fletching XP, but to be honest, fletching is going to be late a game. Right now, right at the start of an Iron Man, cash would be most helpful. We're going to be making these into steel plate bodies. As of now, we are level 54 smithing. I'm literally going to get top page smithing. I'm going to get top page smithing right now. Let's go. I need at least level 63 magic for the swan song quest. So Alkanoli steel plate bodies should get me some decent magic XP. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally finished making the steel plate bodies. Level 60 smithing. We're now on top page. How many steel plate bodies? 600. And 22, yes, we could sell them to the store over there for about 1.2k each. However, I need the mage XP, no XP waste. We're going to be alking these whilst doing agility. Here's the smith in high scores, rank 23. Not too bad, not really going for ranks, but I'll take it. Just amount, got the perfect amount of cash to buy all the nature runes. 600 and 20 nature runes. Look at this right here, just, just, sign, just sign me up for hexes. Level 52 agility, 1000 total level. Look at that. That looks beautiful. The grind is real. 56 agility, which is the requirement for the regicide quest. We've also out all of the steel plate bodies. 700k cash. That is unreal, man. And also, we are halfway there to graceful. The plan is to start training construction. My only skill at level 1. I need level 20 for the Fremenic Isles quest, and because I'm getting ready to do Winter Todd, uh, you get a little bit of construction XP, but level 1 I'll get next to nothing, so should probably start training it. Right, there's the last inventory. How many planks have we got? 324. Hopefully that should be enough to get 20. Need to gather myself a lot of iron nails. Oh god, this is gonna, this is gonna be a pain. Yeah, the nails are taking way too long to collect, so I'm going to make them myself. We already got enough ore, so I'm going to quickly superheat all of these and then make them into iron nails myself. Right, let's make all these into iron nails. I think this is going to be the method I'm going to use. I'm going to bank in Remington, unnote the planks rather than teleport into Camelot on a PvP world because that's like loads of Lorings. So, uh... Let's get building, I guess, level 1 construction. Right, there's level 20 construction. The level we were going for, that's a requirement for the Fremenic Isles. We're going to keep going. And that got me a lot further than expected. Level 26 construction. It is time to train our fire making level 33 at the moment. We need to get level 50 for Desert Treasure and also, of course, for Winter Top. And there is level 40 fire making. There we go. There is 50 fire making. We can now finally go to Winter Todd after grinding so many stats, the fletching, the construction, the wood cutting. Let's do this and hopefully 
not done it because I've never done it before, so it's going to be interesting. So to be dealt less damage at winter, Todd, you're going to want to have at least four items of warm clothing. And the best method for me was to get the Clue Hunter kit. Not only am I going for magic logs, but along the way for winter time, I'm going to be getting loads and loads of other supplies and also making quite a bit of money. But winter time's pretty risky. It is literally the graveyard for hardcore Iron Men. So there's always that big risk of me dying. And especially if I disconnect, good fight career. Ooh, okay. So there's the first game, level 51 fire making. I'm going to open the crates like every 10. Another 750 points. 52 fire making. Man, this is sick. Still getting used to it. Still getting used to it. It's going okay. It's going okay. Hopefully we don't die though. Our first 10 crates from Winter Todd. I've never done this before. I have no idea what to expect because it really does depend on how many points you get. I was getting 750 points every time and also my stats. So we'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Guam maple seeds that is gonna be sick for farming that's insane actually uh quam super strength very nice mahogany logs construction pyromancy garb i don't know how rare that is but there's the first part i guess <laughs> sapphires as well tuna oh more maple seeds 4.8k cars mate the bonk has been made and 11 raw sharks mate, i'd say that's pretty good loot i'd say that's pretty good loot to be quite honest the first 10 crates and pure essence, that's going to be very handy for when I get around to doing runecrafting. So yeah, level 60 fire making coming in. Here we go, we've got 10 more crates. I just realised this garb is 1 in 150. Another 270k worth, those maple seeds, man, coming in. 65 fire making coming in. This is actually a lot of fun, like I'm not even joking. I'm actually having quite a lot of fun skilling, yes. And the XP is just insane, and it's just the loot crate that kind of makes it a little bit more exciting. That's why I love doing clue scrolls, because it's just a massive gamble. You never know what you're going to get. You could get standard reward, or you could get third age, you know what I mean? Oh shit! I just realised I got the magic logs! No fucking way! That's why I was here. Oh my god, that's so lucky. You have no idea. People have been telling me... Like, from 99 fire making, they got, like, only a few magic log drops. That is enough magic logs to complete desert treasure. We've got everything we need. I've got the farming requirement. I've got extra seeds in the bank. I literally just realized that. That's insane, man. And 35k cash from that as well. I'm actually having loads of fun with Winter Todd. I'm going to get 70 fire making, and then we'll move on. There we have it. There is 70 fire making. Is that our highest skill? Yeah, that's our highest skill. 4 million total XP. Let's open the remainder of these crates, see if we can get anything very sexy. That is the question. Boom! We got, ooh, three Rana seeds, three Snapdragon seeds. Oh my god, they are gonna come in handy. Some very nice herbs there as well. Sort of organize the bank a little bit, just ignore this tab. It's just full of quest items. After we get all the quests done and everything, and I know I don't need anything else, then, then we'll organize the bank properly, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, making loads and loads of progress. As always, halfway there to Graceful, made loads of money, making loads of progress towards those Barrows Gloves and all of the other quests that we are doing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you very soon, and peace.